The movie opens with John Kramer, Tobin Bell, undergoing an MRI scan in a hospital, being told afterwards by a doctor that due to his advanced brain cancer, he has only months left to live. While John is at the hospital, he notices a custodian, Isan Bam Hyun Lee, attempting to steal a patient's belongings. The custodian later wakes up in a trap set up by John, his hand caught in a mechanical contraption, and two vacuum tubes hooked up to his eyes. He has 60 seconds to turn a dial that will activate the contraption, breaking all five fingers on his right hand one by one, or else his eyes will be sucked out. Using vacuum tubes, the trap scene is revealed to have been all in John's imagination, as the custodian puts back the patient's possessions after catching John observing him. He barely manages to break three of his fingers before the countdown runs out and he gets his eyes vacuumed out. John encounters Henry Kessler, Michael Beach, a cancer patient who claims to have terminal cancer and promises to fight it all the way to the end at a support group meeting for cancer sufferers. After four months have passed, a grieving John is in a coffee shop prepared to make his final will and testament when he runs into a Henry who appears to be much healthier says that the experimental cancer treatment administered by Norwegian physician Dr. Finn Peterson, Donna Gordon, was the cause of his recovery. After doing some research, John comes across the website of Dr. Cecilia Peterson, Sinve Makodi Lund, who is carrying on her father's research and claims that dishonest pharmaceutical companies have been after him, forcing her to conduct additional clinical trials of the therapy off-grid. When John contacts Cecilia, she directs him to her temporary medical facility in Mexico City for a procedure scheduled for two weeks from now. When John arrives in Mexico City, the cab driver gives him a tour of the city. Joshua Okamoto's Diego, Joshua Okamoto, transports him to the facility, which is situated in a secluded area just outside of the city limits. He is introduced to Cecilia and the rest of her medical staff, including Gabriela Renata Vaca, who claims to have been healed as a result of Cecilia's therapy, as well as nurse Valentina Paulette Hernandez, anesthesiologist Mateo, Octavio Hinojosa, and surgeon Dr. Cortez, Jorge Briseo, a young child, is playing with a soccer ball outside the building as Cecilia brings John to the surgery room, which is housed in a defunct chemical factory. John consults Parker Sears, Stephen Brand, who recently had a similar procedure before to his surgery. Kathy and her group, after performing the procedure on John, Cecilia congratulates him and gives him the assurance that the procedure was a success when he awakens, before buying a bottle of tequila as a gift for Gabriella. John fixes Carlos' bicycle after concluding that his cancer has been cured and that he has gained a new lease on life. John finds the surgery room deserted and in disarray when he returns to the clinic to deliver the gift. John understands that the experimental treatment was a sophisticated ruse, and that neither the operation nor the removal of his brain tumor actually occurred. John kidnaps the cab driver after realizing that Dr. Cortez was actually Diego hiding in plain sight. Diego awakens back at the facility where John is keeping an eye on him as his test starts. Diego has two pipe bombs wired into his arms, and in order to remove the explosives he must use two scalpels linked to his hands to cut through his flesh. Diego passes his exam and divulges details regarding the other con artists. Mateo delivers narcotics to a desperate Gabriella as he closes the door on his veterinary clinic, before being kidnapped a short time later by a man wearing a pig mask, while Valentina is being attacked by a stranger in his car. The same attacker kidnaps her and then proceeds to kidnap. Gabriella was pulled from a nightclub restroom, while Cecilia was pulled from her house as she made an attempt to flee in her car. Just before Cecilia is taken, the assailant takes off their mask, exposing themselves to be Amanda Young, Shawnee Smith, John's apprentice, and that she and John are working together to kidnap Cecilia. When Valentina, Cecilia, Mateo, and Gabriella awaken, they are participating in a deadly game being supervised by John and Amanda in the abandoned factory that they had used as the location for their fraudulent business. The first test is given to Valentina. Gabriella was pulled from a nightclub restroom, while Cecilia was pulled from her house as she made an attempt to flee in her car. Just before Cecilia is taken, the assailant takes off their mask, exposing themselves to be Amanda Young, Shawnee Smith, John's apprentice, and that she and John are working together to kidnap Cecilia. When Valentina, Cecilia, Mateo, and Gabriella awaken, they are participating in a deadly game being supervised by John and Amanda, in the abandoned factory that they had used as the location for their fraudulent business. 
the first test is given to Valentina, who must use a gili saw to amputate her own leg and remove a certain amount of bone marrow. Her frame. She succeeds in chopping off her leg, but because she didn't get the bone marrow out in time, she was later decapitated by a wire. A trolley-mounted phone belonging to Cecilia begins to ring, but it is out of everyone's reach. Then, Cecilia decapitates Valentina's corpse and uses her intestines as a rope to draw the trolley close enough for her to reach her phone. She utilizes the opportunity to call someone and confess to being abducted but is cut off when Amanda shocks her. Amanda expresses concern over the idea of testing Gabriella because she has experienced drug addiction firsthand. The next test for Matteo involves having to hack into his own skull and deactivating his trap by taking a bit of his own brain tissue, placing it in an enzyme fluid container. In doing so, he successfully removes a bit of brain tissue, but it is not broken down by the enzyme in time to free him, which leads to his death when a mask tightens around his face and ignites it. Parker, who realized the operation was a hoax, returns to the compound during the games armed with a gun and wants his money back. He is discovered by John and Amanda as he makes his way through the structure, confined to a chair, and forced to watch the tests take place. As a result of the shackles on her wrist, Gabriella is hanging in the air, and her ankle, and put before an X-ray machine that will burn her flesh. To free herself, Gabriella must use a sledgehammer to break her wrist and ankle. She does so, and falls. But before she can, Parker holds the two of them at gunpoint, and demands them to free Cecilia. As they unchain Cecilia, she shares a kiss with Parker before revealing that he was in on the scam from the beginning, and that he was the one she had called on her phone, killing Gabriella by snapping her neck, which leaves Amanda distraught. At gunpoint, Cecilia and Parker throw John into one of his homemade traps and bind him there where Cecilia was. Before thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Do not forget to leave your comment below.